Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Marilyn Darling Show, and welcome to another episode of a Mail Time Vlog. Boy, I tell you, this has been a day. I went and did my 30 inks 30 days early, I went to my doctor's appointment, and then I went to work, and they told me to go home because my services were not needed for today. And so I called the, the system for telling me, you know, where I'm going to be, what I'm supposed to be doing. And they said that I'm going to be continuing to do telehealth. I was like, well, I wish I would have known this on Friday when I asked. And they said, yeah, come into the office on Wednesday. And so I was there yesterday and everything was fine and then today they're like you can go home I'm like they like you can work from home I'm like all right cool so I'm having a low and I on my way in today I stopped to my mailbox and I got this here package so we're gonna open this up and we're gonna see what we got you probably know by the name of the title, but whatever. <clears throat> oh, I got some toys. I'm so excited. I love new toys. This is from Fountain Pen Revolution in Plano, Texas. And these are my birthday presents that I bought for myself because... When you use the code to get 15% off, yay, and they had a two-for-one sale, who can pass up a two-for-one sale when the pens are like 50 or $60? So, here's the little pamphlet that they give you. Sorry, it's a little difficult to see. Am I even in focus? Can I have some? Whatever. There. It's because it's shiny. If they made it matte, it would be better. And here are their filling systems. Great. Fantastic. All right. So I bought myself a new converter. Because, because, you all know that my first fountain pen revolution, Himalaya, the uh, piston, in, is it this one? No. It's right here in front of me. This one died. So I needed to get a new one. It became a push-pull converter, which not really into the push-pull for this big of a... So I bought myself a new cartridge converter. I need to buy a new one for this one, too. Should have thought about that, but oh well. Make sure she works good. Oh, that's nice. That works really good. No sticking. Perfect. That fits real good into that hole. Great. Fantastic. Brand new pen. All right. That can go in the garbage. Pen. <clears throat> this one still works, but it kind of spins if it gets a little stuck. So I might have to buy me a new one. We will see. We will see. Alright. Who is going to join the Fountain Pen Revolution Club? <coughs> Alright, here we go. <coughs> dun da 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 Ooh, that's pretty. This is a white. I think they call it the Taj Mahal, maybe. 
Oh, that's beautiful. Ah, oh, that's gorgeous. And of course, I got it with an Ultra Flex nib because I love the Ultra Flex nibs. <sighs> Stinks a little bit from the, uh, the factory. Oh, that's nice. I like it. A little bit too many turns, but whatever. <clears throat> oh, that's beautiful. And I got an orange one because it is the orange season. And oh, wow. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Holy bucket. This kind of reminds me of the look of the uh, noodlers. Himala uh, Conrad, but with a fountain pen revolution ultra flex nib. Ooh, and this one's covered in goop too. Ugh. I just, ugh. I hate their goop. It smells like death. I don't have the keenest sense of smell. But. Oh, that's nice. I really like the, uh, the chatoyancy in this. I kind of wish they had a yellow, like a bright yellow pen. This is more of like a tangerine orange, although it looks kind of yellow. There's like yellow highlights with the black ribbon in it, which looks kind of cool. Wow. All right. I don't know what I'm going to ink up in this white one yet. I don't want to stain the grip section. Because I know that that's a thing that does happen with white pens because I have a white Jaipur and the uh, grip section was stained for several months until I figured out I could use bleach on it and then I got it out. Why does this have a Omniflex nib in it? Ugh, that's the stupidest nib ever. <laughs> And don't I like have an ultra flex I can stick in there? I do. Here's one. Oh no, that's that's a, that's a flex nib from Franklin Kristoff. That one sucks. Oh well, whatever. We'll stick a a noodler's flex nib in there. At least it'll be a flex nib. I do like the Jaipur because you can change out the it, the um, feed if you want to use a traditional plastic feed or if you want to use a, an ebonite feed. If you have like a dryer ink, you can stick it in there and it'll and it'll work. Or if you have too wet of an ink, then you can put this plastic feed in there and it'll slow it down a little. So that's cool. Anyway, that and then I and then of course, when you buy Fountain Pen Revolution, you get a little sticker. So that is all for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I hope that you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the little bell. Make sure it's set to all so when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you and I will be back very soon with a review of these pens. So take care until then. Oh, okay, I love you. Bye. Have a great day.